most expensive construction mistakes in the world. There are many amazing engineering achievements in the world, and architects from all over the world construct the majority of structures almost to perfection. Architects are recognized as some of the most well-respected and highly regarded professionals, right up there with lawyers and doctors in terms of other prestigious career fields. Due to their requirement to perform their professions with a limited margin for error, they have a reputation as being at the top of their field. Hello tech geeks, welcome to the tech world, your most trustworthy and thoroughly updated channel for all kinds of technological news, scientific discoveries and inventions, along with a glimpse of the future world. So hurry up and subscribe now, and ring the notification bell to get all the updates. Having said that, let's dive right in. Any error made by an architect could lead to catastrophe and be expensive in terms of both money and human lives. It's not unusual for a bolt to be off by less than half an inch and cause the collapse of an entire bridge, or for a measurement to be off and put a building in danger of collapsing. Mistakes like this, while seemingly little to the untrained eye, can have disastrous consequences. It is critical for architects to strive for perfection, because they hold many people's lives in their hands. Unfortunately, mistakes happen in this profession just like they do in any other. However, when they occur in this domain, the tragedy might be tenfold because buildings, bridges and other structures are used by people at a time. Here are history's most egregious architectural errors. Seoul's Cloud Skyscraper – Immediate Repercussions Seoul, South Korea's largest metropolis, embarked on a project to improve the city's skyline. The multi-use complex, which was expected to cost several billion dollars, had a twin tower design, known as the Cloud Skyscraper. It consists of two towers joined by a cloud-like shape. This garnered immediate criticism from the United States since it resembled the World Trade Center twin towers as they were shrouded in smoke before their fall in 2001. The design garnered scathing criticism, prompting the architect to apologize publicly. Minneapolis's I-35 bridge This one was deadly. The bridge that spanned the Mississippi River in Minneapolis connecting the I-35 freeway is regarded as one of the worst architectural failures in modern history in Wisconsin's largest city. The bridge, which carried 140,000 daily commuters, collapsed on August 1, 2007, killing 13 people and injuring 145 more. The collapse was caused by a defect in the design, which had too thin plating around the rivets, which gave way under the heavy weight of so much vehicle traffic. The Leaning Tower of Pisa We think you guessed it. Although the Leaning Tower of Pisa is regarded as one of the modern wonders of the world, attracting millions of visitors each year to take a photo with the leaning structure, the design is somewhat poor. The failure of the architecture is also the source of its enormous popularity. The tower's base, built on clay, has slumped since its construction hundreds of years ago, making this one of the largest engineering mishaps in history. But the silver lining is the tremendous tourism it ended up generating, turning this failure into a historic success. New York's Citigroup Center Why would you construct it on stilts? There was no space when the Citigroup Center skyscraper in New York City was completed in 1970. Therefore, the architect decided to build over St. Peter's Lutheran Church, which occupied the site. To do this, the 915-foot tower was essentially built on stilts to dangle over the church. Most people can tell right away that this design is seriously defective, but developers persisted, eventually erecting a tower that was prone to collapsing at the first hint of a strong storm or hurricane. In reality, officials predicted that the building would be demolished within the next 16 years of its construction. The city kept this knowledge hidden from the public, embarking on a large project to remedy the design, eventually fixing Citigroup Center's engineering without New York City citizens knowing until years later after the fix was in place. Brooklyn Bridge Park – Hot Steel in the Heat of the Day Since its inception not long ago, the young Brooklyn Bridge Park has become one of New York City's most cherished parks. It's been a huge hit with Brooklyn locals, but it wasn't always regarded as a triumph. When it was first built, a major oversight caused a protest among park goers. When the architects created the playground out of steel, they did not fully consider the real use of the park, which resulted in the equipment heating up to triple digits during the summer, placing the children at grave risk. Thankfully, after a flood of complaints, changes have been made. 
Lotus Riverside's foundations have deteriorated into the mud. The Chinese city of Shanghai built Lotus Riverside, a complex of 11 buildings, each 13 stories tall, all for residential usage. It was seen as a huge accomplishment in a city with significant housing needs. Unfortunately, the architects did not plan well when they began to build an underground garage near the complex, excavating the land, allowing the water from the neighboring river to seep in, and converting the Lotus Riverside Foundation into mud, causing a tower to collapse. The incident was viewed as a tremendous blunder in what was supposed to be a joyful accomplishment. Kansas City's Kemper Arena, a pail of water that is leaking. Kemper Arena, Kansas City's finest stadium during the late 1970s, was host to sports and other venues and won the city's citizens over with its distinctive appearance. The roof was hung in the air by massive trusses, which were meant to release water slowly so that the surrounding surroundings were not swamped. Unfortunately, this design, combined with the accumulation of water, resulted in a massive pool of rain following a major storm in 1979. After a while, the roof began to sag and eventually collapsed inward, causing a massive financial loss. Stata Center, a $300 million mistake. Because of his distinct vision and ingenuity, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology commissioned architect Frank Gehry to construct the Ray and Maria Stata Center. When completed, the skyscraper boasted angles that awed spectators and walls that seemed out of this world. Years after its completion, MIT had to sue the architect because the building had numerous flaws, including drainage concerns, collapsing walls, fissures throughout the base, and more. The $300 million edifice was viewed as a one-of-a-kind achievement, but also an expensive blunder. The Millennium Dome in London was a $40 million squander. Another sporting arena joins the list, this time from the other side of the planet in London. The Millennium Dome, as the name implies, was built around the turn of the millennium. The goal for the dome was an all-encompassing state-of-the-art sports facility that would cost the city more than a billion dollars. Although the construction was not built wrongly, it was regarded as a tremendous failure due to its instability to attract the masses it was supposed to attract. With early expectations of 12 million visitors in the first year, it only drew half of that due to negative feedback about its ugly appearance. Over $40 million was spent to close and reopen the dome. Sewage filling the apartments of Buckingham Palace in London Buckingham Palace, London's most prestigious location, has long been regarded as the country's creme de la creme. The palace has several hundred apartments, which is truly amazing in and of itself. It is unusual for something so great to have so many flaws, yet Buckingham is not immune to difficulties. During its early stages, in the early 1800s, the palace's kitchens were plagued by problems such as sewage overflowing the rooms and poor ventilation. The enormous problems required many teams to repair. The Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City made grave mistakes. Unfortunately, the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City hits our list once more. The walkway connecting the hotel's atrium was erected in 1979 and demolished only two years later. As crowds filled the hotel walkways overlooking the arena below, watching a dance competition, the structure broke away, plummeting to the ground, killing over a hundred people. The fatal accident occurred as a result of the architect's failure to appropriately estimate the weight limits of the hotel's walkway. Can't hear your music at the Sydney Opera House? The Sydney Opera House, one of the world's most famous structures and frequently regarded as the quintessential music hall, has long been regarded as practically faultless. But unbeknownst to most, the acoustics have always been slightly wrong for decades. The opera house and stage shows were shifted, resulting in them being located in different venues than in Massage. This disrupted the acoustics, making it impossible for musicians to hear the music they played. Since then, plans for $200 million in improvements have helped to improve the acoustics. What do you think about these mistakes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.